Welcome back, sports fans, once again to Mom and Papa Joe's. We appreciate you stopping in. Today we want to show you real quick, this is attempt number two, we want to show you how we made these awesome uh, outside skirt pinwheels. We're not going to waste any time. Wow, they're beautiful, they smell great. Let's get to it. So this is my second time attempting these uh, pinwheels. The first time, uh, they came out great. Really enjoyed the flavor, but I was a little disappointed in the texture. All right, I used the cheaper inside skirt. Uh, less tender, less marble. Today I spent extra and went with the outside skirt. Definitely a little bit more marble. Uh, in the end, we'll find out about uh, tenderness and texture. But I'm a little disappointed in how narrow they are. My inside skirts the last time were a little bit wider. So the first thing I want to do is to take just a little piece of saran wrap. I'm going to try to flatten these out just a hair. Maybe I can get two rolls out of each of them. I should be able to get two pieces out of that. Let me get to work on this filling. All right, so once again, we're gonna keep our filling very simple. A little pad of uh, unsalted butter, some yellow onions, sweet uh, red pepper, maybe, maybe a good two teaspoons of some finely minced garlic. Too lazy to chop. And then a nice hunk of baby spinach. You gotta remember, Spinach, man, wilts down to nothing, so I'll keep this close to the stove. Uh, black pepper salt, uh, we're just gonna, like I said, we're gonna wilt this down and then uh, let it cool before we fill those pinwheels. All right, our filling is cooled down. Just gonna give this a light brushing with a little olive oil. I'm gonna come back with uh, some Uncle Chris gourmet steak seasoning. Uh, go with whatever you choose. Anything on the opposite side. This is pretty thin, so you just want to make sure you don't go too heavy. You definitely don't want to overfill. Now I'm going to come back with some Parmesan or cheese of your choice. Last time I used, uh, I believe it was provolone, along with some prosciutto. And I think uh, the prosciutto had a, a bit of a strong taste and might have overpowered uh, the steak, so I've decided to leave that out this time. Let's see if we can get these rolled up. <laughs> so we're ready to go, man. I've hit that bottom side. Just gonna come back and lightly touch that top side with a little more of this Uncle Chris. And we're gonna head outside and get this Weber cranked up. I think our fire is ready, man. And just like the first time, I am going to sear them first uh, and then finish offset. Uh, as opposed to the opposite way, 
because I don't want that melted cheese to then come over here for a sear. Last time I took them closer to 130. This time I'm gonna take them closer to 125. Man, they look and smell great. <laughs> All right, it's been about five minutes. Let's give these a, a look-see. Oh yeah, so we're gonna flip. They're holding together well. He's pretty. And we'll go another five minutes. Ooh, man. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty. Mm -hmm. right, let me get a quick temp right there. One fifteen, I think. All right, we're gonna move them off now, and we're gonna try to get to that right around that one twenty-five in the next couple of minutes. All right, this will not take very long. Man, look at all that goodness. <laughs> oh man, I think we are probing right where I need to be. All right, we're gonna pull these. Good, man. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So we've given these things a few minutes to rest, man. Oh, they're absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so let's cut in the one. <laughs> now, again, the grain is running uh, from, the, from the table to the top. So there isn't much you can do in terms of trying to slice against the grain. Oh. Man, that is totally beautiful. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. Mama, you tell me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Night and day in terms of texture from this outside skirt to uh, a few months ago when I did the inside skirt. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big difference. Totally different texture, man. Uh, beautiful. Mm. We've got a salad that's gonna go down with this. And mom and I are getting ready to make it happen. So there's another short, simple cook, folks, but very effective. We wanna thank you guys as usual for stopping in, hanging out with mom and Papa Joe. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, we'd appreciate your support. Uh, remember our live streams on Thursdays, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We would love to have you stop in and uh, enjoy the great conversation. In the meantime, we want you guys to take care of yourselves, look out for each other, and we'll see you when we see you. Holla!